Oh, that went away. You want to go? Okay, well here we are folks, we're here uh, right at the foot of the Pennines, the backbone of England as they say, that something bigger hill behind us, that's the uh, part of the Pennines. And I've got here with me the uh, the principals of the Sandwick Farm Shorthorn Herd, we've got Andrew, Carolyn and the buddy young breakaway for England and young Ewan, man of the future, flanker of the future. So, <laughs> how, how, when did we start all this? We initially went into the Shorthorns about... 2000, 2001. Right. Yeah, we were just looking for a nice sort of a breed that was quiet, easy to handle. Simple yeah, plan. yeah. We were sort of just the two of us running the place on our own. Right. We wanted cattle that we could move and we could work with yep. easily and safely. Yep. And what's your view on it, Carol? You're on the board of the Shorthorn Society, Beef Shorthorn Society. What's my view on it? Demon driver. <laughs> <laughs> Demon driver. Oh, I think we're, we're a very good breed. I mean, we're, it's it's a maternal side of a breed, yeah. but really is what we as pedigree breeders like and the commercial man, I think, yeah. should be looking at. Yeah. Because you've got to, end of the day, you've got to raise a calf and yeah. whether it goes into the meat trade or a bull or a, 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 a female replacement. Yeah. So. so It seems to me that this is probably not being derogatory anyway, but a bit of hard country in a way to be running cattle as mm. against the more traditional loosened flats and all that sort of stuff. And looking at these beautiful calves there earlier on, they're all full of milk and all happening. It's what the breed's all about, isn't it? It is, yeah. 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 No, I think that the breed sort of can survive in any environment, whether it's up on the hill yeah. or down on the valley. Yeah. Which so what we're, we're about a couple of thousand feet above sea level here now. We're working towards that now. Yeah. yeah. No, when we came to this farm, so it would be about 10 years ago now, a lot of the land behind us where you see the cattle, that was never graced with cattle then, right. because all the farms around here, they just ran a more continental right. breed, and they couldn't couldn't handle it. Yeah. They had to be kept on the better land. So you showed them the light, my so son. We, we, <laughs> well, I, I don't think... They're a bit one-eyed, some of these folk around here. And <laughs> That's right. That's right. We, <laughs> they, they we, won't, we won't be showing this video later. They would never you know, admit to it. Been yeah. shown the way. But <laughs> and young Ewan, now you're, you're the man of the future. Uh, uh, how do you see the, the breed going for you? I don't know. Good breed, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully they'll go forward. Yeah, good boy. So we can come back here in 20 years. Oh, I won't be over 90 then, so don't worry. Come back and see the herd flourishing and under your guiding. I don't know whether Dad will give up no. yet. Twenty, 20 <laughs> years, I don't think that's a bit too short time. Okay, right. I'll, I'll just right. be in my prime yep. in 20 well, years. Well now, Carolyn, also you're on the, on the board of the Shorthorn Society. Where, where do you see the breed going in the big picture type thing? The bigger picture. It's, it's sort of a bit difficult, but I, I do feel that you know, we're working with obviously the supermarket at the moment, and hopefully we'll fulfil their brief that we're wanting to go. They're wanting to yep. progress to full short on beef on, on the shelves, so hopefully we can sort of provide that. But yeah, working with the commercial man, I think that's where we need yeah. to work with, not just for the, the steer end for the supermarket. That's yep. sort of a byproduct, but I'd like to see that you know. Our breed is used for crossing with right, yep. other cattle and, you know, yep. commercial, not necessarily purebred, but even, you know, crossbred yeah, well, I mean, short horns. Yeah, as we were saying last night, you know, when you get commercial breeders paying, what, yep. six or eight thousand guineas for a commercial bull. And yeah. not batting an eyelid, are they? Really? Yeah, mm. so obviously there's a lot of confidence in what the breed can deliver. Yeah. Yeah, no, good stuff, good but stuff. But yeah, we've got to, we, I think we've still got be aware of what our breed is about and I think you know with the supermarket being on board I think we've possibly those boundaries are being tested at the moment yeah. and it's just how we as a board of directors can sort of rein that maybe yeah. and that we go down to. You're in for some interesting board meetings <coughs> coming up aren't you? We are yeah. yes. Yeah. We're, we're not a terminal sayer breed yeah. and that's maybe what some people are looking at it for now Yes. and they're trying to create a, a type of bull which would act as a terminal sayer, yeah. but by doing that, you you then losing your yeah. your maternal well, traits. Like with, with going for extra muscling, that's fine 
you know, bull, but you've got a cow or a heifer, mm. it's going to be the equivalent. So what do you do with that, isn't it? You don't want so. to be having to start dragging calves out of, no fun in that. Out of these. Especially in this country in the middle of winter. That's right. No, you want something that's easy to manage, easy yeah. to look after, and, yeah. and that can be moved All away right. from that. Well, folks, that's the story. There, this is these are the Pennines here, and I'm going to move the camera and show you that's the Lakes District, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So for all you blokes out there from Australia, that's the Lakes District out there. Beautiful. Look at that. There we go. We end up here with a young breakaway for England, a young Ewan. So there we are. All right, folks. Well, look, thanks for being with us on this uh, tour of Sandbrick Farm. Uh, we've had a terrific time. They fantastic yesterday. We went and saw... Uh, Thomas Bates' grave at Kirk Levington, we got, yeah. got that right, Kirk Levington, and uh, remember, as long as you've got a pulse, you're having a good day. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.